Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with more Spyro, A Hero's Tale. So I finally made it over here because I think I finally figured it out. I also changed the... the that was weird. Like, why is everything so delayed now that I clicked play? I changed the camera so I can control it, even though it's still inverted. And apparently all this way was for an egg, but not the cannon. Also, I don't know why it's having issues turning... So I think we can make it to the cannon from here, right? We can. Oh, thank god. Also, I love how it says press triangle, yet triangle technically doesn't work. Oh, there's a lot of traps in there. This game just hates its players, doesn't it? Oh, that didn't even look like it... Wait, why is down to go up? I, I, don't, I don't get that. Stupid inverted controls. Wait, how did it destroy everyone but the first one? Oh yeah, I forgot. There we go. Oh my god, if I really want to go back on this thing, I can. Ooh -hoo. I'll do that maybe. Maybe. I keep forgetting the camera's not going to cooperate with me now. We made it, though. If I want, I'll go back and get those gems, but... For Really? I'm going to start dying to a seashell? Thing is, they're like not even strong enough to really do anything. And oh, it's the last dark gem. Thank God. And I keep forgetting it's not Y in the triangle in this game. There we go. Let's see what this does. Wait, you're telling me all that did was open up this pathway? To this section of the level with a dark or with a light gem. That's light gem number nine. And there's one egg left. Oh. We actually almost have all the collectibles here. And it's some kind of mini game thing. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Can't apparently jump up on that. Clearly, we gotta do something with this, but we don't have the means to just yet. <gasps> and there's the last egg! Both items are literally right here. Okay, so that one looks like we can go over here. Wait, I've only been recording for like under three minutes. It feels like I've been at this for five minutes, because just how long I was at the other section for. I was doing it for 20 minutes just before like I figured out the easy way, and it was just like... Uh, disappointing. Like, we need to go over here. And then, yeah, over here. Thank you. These weird, glowing, floating shells. I still wonder where, like, the, uh... Puzzle element to the light gem is, though. Because the light gem is definitely more important. Oh my god, the stupid camera in this game, man. Actually, while we're under here, which apparently, do you see how it like turns to the sides? It's just all weird. Like, is there nothing under the water? I guess there's nothing under the water. I think I just took that too cautiously. I'm so used to being able to just bum rush the original Spyro games that this game is just... Oof. Because we need to raise that somehow, clearly. But there's like no crank on it or anything like that to, you know, actually control it with. And that's the problem. Oh, this one you can really cheese. I still don't know how I failed on a spot that's not really that hard, considering you are able to double jump since the beginning of the game. Like, my god, I don't know what I was doing, but there we go. I might have to look up exactly how to get this light gem because I don't know where it is. Like, I know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to raise this up. But where we raise it up from is beyond me because I don't see anything. There's not even any gems down here because remember, we've died and come back. So this is 
This is all in a new life because those crabs were out there. So there's literally just nothing under here. Um, yeah, so that light jump. I still hate that the camera's inverted. Are you sure I can't change the first person Y axis normal? Like, why is there not an option to change the regular camera? It's gonna be so annoying. Anyways... Uh, we can go back this way, I guess, and collect those gems, and then just go back this way, because... We need 40 light gems, and currently we only have, uh... 32. Ooh, we need 8. I think before we can even... Okay, thank you. I'll just die. I'll grab a drink while I'm at it. Oh, all the gems disappeared. Nice. Like, the camera angles are just really weird, because, like, sometimes you'll, like, be underneath. And then above, and things like that, and just... Yeah, we already found that secret area, so... That's Cloudy Domain over there, right? We need to go to the sunken place. So we need to, I think, go back this way. And we need to go to the sunken zone. We might actually have to backtrack, too. Is it this way? Yeah, this way works. Actually, you know what? Just give me money bags. Coastal Depot. Yeah, we want Waterfall Walkway. Thank you. Still hate that it costs money, but at least it's only 100. Alright, we're over here. Now I do believe that we need to turn around this way. Watch me kill this man. Oh, he didn't even hit me this time. How come I collected his gems, yet half the other enemies, they never collect their gem? Um, sure. I definitely got hit by that, right guys? Jesus Christ, their hitboxes are so weird because they're like off screen. Alright, this part's super easy. I still can't believe we're only missing one uh, light gem and we know where it is, just not how to get it. So if I remember what I said about this part, yeah, this is a giant target. Yeah, you do that and then the opposite of the domain level where we actually go down below. Yeah, so I guess we'll uh, you know end the episode here and in the next episode we'll continue on with this episode because we're not done. This is such a long ride. I'm trying to get this stuff off of my tooth and it's just annoying. So pardon me while I do that while we wait. Because these elevator rides in this game are notoriously stupid and there's nothing to do but run around like a maniac in circles. Thank god for money bags. Because otherwise these would be tedious. Sunken Ruins, the best level in the game. Wait, how did I hit a wall over that? Wait, are those different enemies? Also, reskin of the dragons already. What do you guys do? Just stab me? Unfairly stab me, that's for sure. Anyways, let's open up this and see what it is. Better not be just gems. Lightning orbs? Wow. Anyways, we have eight light gems, six eggs, and three crystals. So technically... We still can't fight the boss, even if we were to 100% this level, because we still need from the next level. I'm pretty sure this level also has more of the stupid poles. Like, I remember this level being notoriously painful to deal with. We got the money to spend. We actually have enough to buy this. Oh. Actually, we'll buy the lockpick first, and then we'll buy three keys. I don't, like I said, I don't think the shockwave is needed. 
but wait is that just something you can actually wow that looks literally they literally straight up made it something you could jump up on oh water water in this game while not um excuse you i've been pressing the freaking circle button for oh are you serious that guy is literally in a wall so these physics are uh flawless no problems whatsoever. Oh. Wait. Do those guys actually shoot pearls? As if they were just straight up clambo from... Oh my lord. Donkey Kong ripoff. Wait. He actually came out of the... The wall. Wait. And then the gem drops all the way down there. That's so stupid. Alright, I guess we'll see what's up here. I guess we should look at the map. This is a big area, but it loops around it looks like, so that's pretty good. Ooh, wait. This looks suspicious back here. Yes, it is. A chest. Really? Another one of those eggs? How many of those eggs do we have exactly? Oh, we only have four. Oh yeah, concept art, character viewer, ember model plays ember, flame model plays flame, sergeant bird mini games, spyro turret mini games, sparks shooter mini games, and blink mini games. Gross. So we don't have like any of the concept art or the sparks ones. There, I believe there's a sparks uh, mini game in this. I think what those mean are those are what they unlock. There's not technically that many of each minigame, just, just saying guys, don't worry about that. The music gets eerie the longer you're at one of these. I just want to collect everything around here first. Because we definitely need money again. And let's clear off these vents. Which look like they're going to produce either water or wind. wind. Alright. Once again those things. Also, all this just for one vent. It's not even four vents. It's just one. And it... Oh, wait a minute. No, I remember this place. This is the one where you need to activate all the vents. Technically, that's why you're here, is to activate all the vents. I think that's what all the crystals doing. Oh, looks like we got a mermaid. Oh yeah, I remember her as a kid. She's gonna be in the thumbnail, that's for sure. Anyway, this is hopefully a light gem, because that's what we need. Thank you, game. Light gems are always appreciated. Hello, mermaid. Hello. What sort of fish are you? And where are your fins? I'm not a fish, I'm a dragon. My name's Spyro. Well, dragon fish, here's a tip. To get through these ruins, you'll have to follow the markers. Uh, thanks, but once again, I'm not a fish, I'm a dragon. Oh, a sea dragon. Got it. <sighs> Chicks. I'm not a sea dragon, that's a type of, like, seahorse. They're like the kelpie looking ones. Follow the markers. What markers exactly? I don't really see any markers. Also, what the heck is fodder in this level? Apparently not. So, you see that, like, whole space between us, Mr. Fish? Yeah, you shouldn't have been hitting me. Also, there was no indicator that you were an enemy, and I thought you were fodder. Because you don't look like a puffer fish, but sure. Well, we'll, we'll just say that you are a puffer fish for benefit of the doubt. Because, yeah, a puffer fish. Man, all these goodies down here, and yet, I wonder if we'll find any single kind of actual loot. Because, like I said, there will be some backtracking in this game, because, like we've seen before, there are zones that we can't even technically get into yet, like 80 light gems in the very first part of the game. We only have, like, what, 34? 35 now? I think it's 35, right? 33! Jeez, we had less than I thought. There we go, there goes that stupid fish. Did we go up here yet? I don't think we did, so we'll go check out this spot first. 
Oh no, King Crabula. Wait, what the heck is that gadget? Don't tell me there's another gadget that we don't have enough stuff for. I hear a light gem. Let's just clear out this room. Oh yeah, these guys throw starfish and they're apparently really dumb because it took them that long to even notice me. I'll take stupid enemies though. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually break through that window, because that's why it's all cracked up like that. At least that's what I believe. Right? I'm pretty sure you can get in there. Oh, wait, no! It's the invincibility gadget. That's what this is. Oh, hello, Spyro. This is my invincibility gadget, which will protect you from... Well, well pretty much everything. Oh wait, we actually have enough. The gadget is active. Enjoy your invincibility. Not at all what I thought, considering whatever. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Also, you turn into like what? What is that? Um, Mercury. That's that's what you turn into. Wait, what? Um, there's no, like, beeping of the timer, oh my god, and then the game sends you all the way back? God, Zoe is more important than one would like in this game, holy bejesus. Oh yeah, Krabby's back, everybody. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot, wrong enemy. We essentially did that, like, flawlessly that first run, too, and it just... What the... What is that? Like, who designed it to, like, insta-kill us that fast? In the original Spar game, you didn't die due to the acid one-shot game. Y you do realize that, right? Like, it took multiple hits to kill us, and then we gotta deal with this stupid enemy every time. Alright, so before I go and deal with this, also the mermaids don't respawn. I'm gonna go find another freaking uh Zoe for this. And of course there's no extra Zoe and whatever sound effect is making that is just graining. Oh my god, thank you. Woo. That is, that is like so close to the timer that it's not even funny. And they also don't warn you that it's insta-kill goop. And then there's literally nothing else in here. Just straight up nothing else other than a few gems. Could have at least given me an egg for all my troubles, but nope, you don't even do that. Now I gotta listen to whatever these sound effects are in this hallway. Sounds like electricity. Oh, it's money bags. It's for the depths. Thank you for my keys, Jim. Oh no, more invincibility. I don't like seeing that. Invincibility is never a good thing to see, man. Not in this game. What is making that sound? This looks like a job for Sparks. Hooray! So you want me to risk my life while you stand guard out there? Yes, you stupid sassy dragonfly that nobody cares about because you're a dragonfly. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one now you got puzzles that you have to open up these and then kind of dash through and then if you hit them, well guess what? You're gonna take damage and die! Because this game is fun! Like this isn't technically a bad minigame, but this is... uh oh. There we go. 
kill some bugs for some uh, gems, I guess. Also, it's funny that there's spiders. There's like spiders, lizards, and bugs. And yeah, those are like moths, right? Those look like moths. Goodbye, Mr. Spider. Also, don't you think that's a little risky for like what you actually give? I got an itchy eye again. Playing these old games make my eyes itchy because they're just, you know, older, so. Spider-Man. Do the spiders? Oh yeah, they do drop gems. I wasn't sure if they drop gems or not. See, since they're giving me a potion, might as well grab it. Ow. Uh oh. Oh jeez. And there we go. We made it. There we go. Now we got our reward. A beautiful dragon egg. Nice. Hey, I found a dragon egg. Although I have no idea how I carried it out. Yeah, I still don't know to this day how you do that. All right. Let's go back in for a light gem. Like I said, these levels aren't too bad. They're just not that fun either. They're they're just the same thing. They have a lot of turret style uh, mini games in this, and I'm not entirely sure why. Why am I going at an angle? My itchy face is just screwing with me today, man. It's like, oh, you're trying to record? Nah, itchy. Like, how do you know exactly where these boulders are falling? Cause. You do realize that there was, like, literally no tell of where I'm supposed to go in that, right? Also, what is the point of the rapid fire when there's, like, next to no enemies? Like, game, you do realize that this rapid fire would make way more sense in an actual circumstance. Ow, I hit the wall. Like, I don't actually know what you're supposed to do there to avoid the rocks. Maybe you're just forced to take damage on them. And we'll dash out of there. The spiders are really the only threat in here, and I haven't seen a single chameleon yet from the first level. Oh, this one I can just, just straight up dodge them all. Sure, it's risky because then you have to hit this, but I didn't want to dash through so you can get past all these guys. If you kill certain enemies, though, they will drop you butterflies. Also, I really feel, other than the fact that there's a few more rock spots, this is like the exact same level. Like, they didn't like add any new enemies or anything to this. Oh, look, we got extra spiders finally. That's That's cool. Oh look, chameleons finally! It only took them to the end of the level pretty much to show up. That's cool. I can't believe I hit by that bat, or that moth, because I just wasn't paying attention. Are you serious? I better not die to it off screen now. There we go, thank god. <laughs> we beat it. No half and a double try, that's for sure. Which I like. I'm so good, this game should be called Sparks the Dragonfly. Wow. You've gotten a whole four items. You know, I've only gotten most of them. You stupid creature. Do we not? I don't think we have. No, no. Where the heck did I fall? I already know where I am. I love how I can't see the enemies that are attacking me. I didn't want to continue on. I was going to end the episode, game. And then you're just like, yeah, how's about no? And I'm like, no. Okay, then game. Thank you. Oh, we need our electric breath. Okay. Fine by me. 
Fun by Diddly Dandy Me. Ooh, lots of gems over here, though. I'll take them all. We've essentially paid back... Or... Oh, finally, a checkpoint. I was wondering when one of those was going to exist again. Where the heck are we? Oh god, this level's so gargantuanly big, it's not even funny. I keep getting distracted. Alright, guys. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, we'll continue exploring and hopefully finishing the ruins. I don't know if we can get 100% here yet. Like, I don't think there's, like, a blink section. I don't think there's a hunter section even in this entire world. At least, I don't believe there is. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.